Okay, so for this video, you're going to create your top. I'm going to show you how I made mine. Um, your limitations are going to be in, the, your constraints are going to be in the Google Classroom assignments. You want to make sure that you're not exceeding the maximum size of your top. Outside of that, you can make your top however you want to so, so that you've got it. So we're going to go to create a new design, a 3D design. And when this opens up, the first thing we're going to do is rename this. It's going to be your first name top is what you're going to call this model. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to rename mine Burke top. And there it is. So what we are going to do is you're going to first drag in a cone and you know, you can zoom in, you can change your orientation. We talked about all those things that you're going to do. We're going to bring a cone in. And so I'm going to bring a cone in and just drop a cone right in the middle. And one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to mess with the actual shape of the cone. So we're going to change the cone. Okay, so the top radius is going to be what's the radius around the, the nose of the cone. I, I changed mine to six. So mine was actually changed to six is where is what mine was. The top radius was six. The base radius, you can slide it and get it there, but I made my base radius three. Then the height of this, which is gonna be my arm, is gonna be 25. And then for this one, I gave it a total of eight sides. Okay, now what this is, is you notice that this is gonna be, we're making the top that I showed you guys in class. So this is gonna be the base of my top here. Okay, so this, or not the base, this is gonna be the handle that you spin. So then we're gonna put a work plane on top. And I've got my work plane on top here. And then I'm gonna add another cone. And so I'm gonna put another cone right on top of it. So I'm gonna kind of slide another cone right on top of it. Now I'm gonna try, I wanna figure out like, okay, how am I gonna make this? So first thing I wanna do is make sure that my base lines up with this one. So it lines up nice and neat. You might not want to, you might wanna have it go out of there. You might have it go. So. This one, I'm going to make this a little bit wider for my top radius because I actually did three cones to make this. So my top radius is going to be 20. Base radius, because I want it to line up, is going to be a six because that's what the top of the other one was, was a six. The height of this one, we're going to make this 10. So it's going to be 10 millimeters, so it's 10 millimeters tall. And I'm again going to make this with eight sides so that this has got the eight sides. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my shape here. And if I want to, I can remove my work plane and zoom in here and turn around on all sides. And I can see how is my model lined up. The other thing that I can do is grab my models and I'm going to use the alignment tool and I want to align them middle, middle so that everything is lined up perfectly middle. See, so now I've got, and I don't want to align them top to bottom because if I do that, it puts, see how it drops my model in the middle or it makes it so that it's all there. So I want to keep them where they're at. So this is, I've got it middle, middle, there it is. And so now I'm, my model is set up here. I'm going to add another work plane on top here. Zoom out just a little bit. I'm going to drag myself in another cone to put on top of it here. Now, remember some of the design considerations that you came up with is the point of your nose cone. So this is going to be the top of mine. I made mine one. So if you have the top radius being zero, it'll be even pointier if you think that's something that you want to do. I made my base. The base matches the top of the other base that I'm putting on. I made it 20. Oh, not 100. <laughs> 20. So there it is at 20 and the height for this one, I'm going to make this nine to give it just a little bit more of a, so let's see how it's, how it's sandwiched down there. And then my sides, again, I didn't want this to be super round. I, I have some edges to it. So I made the sides eight. I'm going to um, get rid of my work plane here because I like to do my aligning when I'm looking at just the top here. So now I'm going to grab just the, the, the top here, the top two shapes. I'm going to line the top shapes up again. I'm going to go middle. So it's lined up to the middle and middle. So it's lined up to the middle so that everything is lined up. And then what I'm going to do 
this is my model. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna group the shapes together to make sure that I get a solid shape. So now my model is grouped together. Now here's, we talked about the orientation of it. So I've made mine, I built mine upside down so that this is how I wanna print it, knowing that I wanted most surface area touching the model so that I've looked at the model. My radius angles are not more than 45 so that I've got, or my angles of my model so that I've got this, but what if I did this, Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to rotate this. If I was to print my model upside down like this, this model doesn't has very little that is coming into contact with the surface of the print bed. So my model would tip over and it wouldn't print right. So that's why when I printed mine, mine was upside down. So you notice the bait, the radius of the bottom of this top here, this is one. So this is one millimeter of material that is touching the top. This up here, I've got three millimeters of material touching for the top. So that is, I made mine set up this way. Now, if you make your top this way, that's fine. But what you're going to do is when you're done, make sure that before you send me your model, that your model is orientated properly for the best print. Okay, so you're gonna get the best print. So I'm gonna print mine upside down again so that I've got this. And there it is. Your model, so if we look at this, so here's my your models, your maximums, maximum that it can be is 50 millimeters tall. So I'm within my maximum, so I'm okay there. The maximum that you can be for your width is 50 millimeters and 50 millimeters. So I'm at 40, 40, and 44 for my height. So I'm well within the constraints that were set up in the lesson. So your model can be no taller than 50 millimeters, no wider than 50 millimeters, no deeper than 50 millimeters, oriented the proper way, export your STL, attach it, and turn it in as a file. Good luck with your top competition.